Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Vanda Violet Edition from David Goldklang. All right, so what is the Vanda deck? The Vanda deck is the first rotationally symmetric deck of playing cards that has ever been designed. What is rotationally symmetric? It means that every single card looks exactly the same right side up as it does upside down. If you'd like to learn more about Vanda cards, you can head on down to vandacards.com. These also come in a crimson, red, and a kind of a yellowish gold. The Vanda cards were a Kickstarter project, okay? And they were a Kickstarter project long time back. Uh, and what's unique about them is that they're completely uh, innovative as far as their deck design. They're simple, sleek, bold, uh, some might say sexy. Uh, they have simple corner symbols. So that's the combined value uh, plus the suit pip. Like I said before, all the cards are rotationally symmetrical. Uh, they have a unique new rotationally symmetrical center pip symbols for like the hard spades clubs. So you can flip those upside down too, that's cool. And you have bold graphic ace designs. You have unique diamond shaped pip layout grid, uh, typographic court cards, and everything's printed by the United States Playing Card Company. The front of the tuck case is uh, purple, okay? Or it's violet, violet and black. Uh, and across the front, that's a Vanda Playing Cards Violet Edition. One side says Vanda, vandacards.com, as does the other side. The bottom has some ad copy, and the back design is a preview of what the King of Hearts looks like. Uh, and then the tongue flap is blank, but it's the standard small kind. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these playing cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they come on their retail stock. They do have a modern cut, air cushion finish, and magic finish. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. A lot of people always ask how the cards feel, how they handle. Uh, the best thing I can do is measure them for you. I can measure them for you, put them in a caliper, and tell you exactly how they might feel and compare to other cards you've held or owned. 10 cards in the caliper comes to 2.87. 2.87 is on par with Black Lions, uh, the craft beer deck that uh, Bicycle put out a while back. Uh, the Keep Moon cards, uh, the Tally Ho Circle Back, the Black Scorpions, the First Edition Split Spades, Purple LTDs, on and on and on, okay? The back design is a field of violet against a thin, medium-sized white border. And then you have that quad uh, shape there, right there, that kind of looks like four uh, spade pips kind of in uh, order. But like I said, you can flip it any old way you want. It should look the same from any angle. As you can see, the aces all have a unique design in the middle. So again, you can flip these in any way and they would look the same uh, right side up or upside down. The pips and indice cards will all have unique pips in the corner as a unique layout for every single card. Another interesting thing about this deck is that because 10 would have two digits, and that's just not the theme of this, uh, instead of a 10 in the corner on the 10s, you're gonna get a T for 10. And the court cards are typographic. Typographic means that they're the letters that represent so J for Jack, K for King, Q for Queen. Obviously, there's no actual people or stylized court cards that you might be familiar with. This is more of a artistic rendition. Also with this deck, you'll get two extra cards. You'll get a double backer, uh, one side violet and the other side emerald. The second gaff card you get is going to be a violet King of Hearts that matches the back of the tuck. Your two jokers are not really indicated as jokers. There's no J for joker because then that would be similar to the Jack, right? Uh, but what they are is they're like diamond shapes made up of the club pips. All right, so that's my review of the Vanda Violet Edition from David Goldklang. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also ask that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you want more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.